thanks for watching TW Replays. My name is Jay Martin, and I know that you guys like big ass games. Big ass games. This, uh, according to the timestamp on the file, is just over two years old. This was played in uh, maybe June of 2018. Uh, is this Lodi? Lodi? I don't recall what map this is, but there's a town in there. And uh, very creatively, we're all GB, so that's a little boring. A little bit boring, but it's okay. The good news, the good news, I, I never time this out right. Come on. There we go. The good news is the enemy team is all different faction, which makes following the battle much, much easier. Um, playing on my team, I need to stop moving the camera so much. Plan on my team is Marsh and Amber and Karlov and myself. I have no idea what happens in this game, but I would suspect we probably lose pretty... Uh, overwhelmingly because what, what would always happen when this group of, of idiots would get together and play is we'd just be like fuck it let's just have fun and bring bad armies and rush in and brawl with them and it never r rarely turned out great and whenever we played the, the fun terrain maps like this we were just kind of like fuck it let's have fun we, it was kind of the mindset I'm not really sure who's who this person has Cav so that might not be Marsh. Yeah, okay, here, here's what I'm going with. Okay. This person does not have Cav. This is 100% Marsh. Marsh hates Cav. He hates him! Um, this is probably me because of the single Chevron as opposed to the two. I don't know. This might be Amber. And... I guess I'll make this as Karlov, I guess. That seems reasonable. So we could have a little bit of a battle in the city. I I was always kind of torn on this. I always thought this was kind of fun. But I always felt like I was bad at it, kind of, in a way. I don't know. Yeah, you got an angle right there. That's cool. That's cool. Like, how, how how much do you commit to this, I wonder? Old guard and a grenadier in the house. That's kind of a dick move in a game without artillery. I don't, I don't know. We, we used to uh, just make that a rule. Uh, maps with houses, you couldn't go in the house. But that's a little more organized play thing. I guess we do that on Waterloo a lot. But that's kind of like... How Waterloo's meant to be played? Does that make sense? I don't know. I don't know. Too close to the line there. Pulling him back. That's cool. Is that fensible? Musketeer 8. Life. Cool unit. It's a lot of cab back there. What is that? Fensible? I was going to make a critical comment, but the game's two years old, so don't worry about it. Oh, we're fighting in a house right here. What do we got? We got, uh, uh, King's German Legion versus a Swiss. The Swiss is losing. The inside of houses I always found really interesting. So this is the Swiss. Like, who came up with this model for how the units behave? This is just weird. Hey guys, we're just cruising on in here. Three guys are fighting. And these guys are like, what's up? Hanging out. Eh. Okay, what is this? What is this? Holy cow, is that six? That's either five or six chevrons on an old guard. Why do you have chevrons on everything? Why are there four on the Dragoon? What? Okay. Fun facts about chevrons. 
The first is Chevron's on a general only improve their combat stats. They don't actually increase like the morale effect of the general or anything. So Chevron's on a general are basically useless. Second thing, what you're really going for with the Chevrons is the morale boost. You only get the morale stat on every odd Chevron. So one, three, this one's cool. I'm going to guess that's five. My Chevron identification is a little rusty. But the fourth Chevron on this Dragoon is not, not really relevant. And then I don't remember exactly how it works, but it's something like the first Chevron was 10% of the unit cost. And an old guard is like 1240. <coughs> and then the, the Chevron scale, the, the second Chevron costs more or something like that. So the first Chevron on the old guard costs like 124, which means that if you're up to five, this old guard probably costs like $2,400 or something like 10% of your money. That's way, wow. Wow. That, that's, the yeah, yeesh. What's going on here? We're fighting. There's a lot of cab moving over. Where'd that come from? Didn't come from over here, did it? No. Okay. It feels to me like this team has a little nicer terrain. Like, th this elevated area here seems very difficult to attack through. The red line's over here somewhere. Okay, it's right there. So maybe the idea is you want to come this direction. Okay, we're bringing Cav for that purpose. I guess the lights in the forest right here is nice. Y you were actually really advantaged with your units in the forest versus these dudes. Hmm. Yeah, that's a really good position. Is old guard doing anything? Chevron's on Volt seems like such a bad idea, man. Chevron's on Cav seems like a bad idea. What's that land where? Okay, whatever. I not really do anything in town yet. Hmm. Again, this is a really good. I mean, this is a good deal. You get your uh, your lights in the forest. The trick, the trick is to make sure you have line of sight. I don't know. That seems really tight to me. Really tight. So a trick we used to do back in the day, it was really common when the opponent had a, um elevated position like this. They put, a, you know, a light or the rifle behind the line so that both units would have kind of functionally the same range. If you can visualize that, like, say... The line's right there, and there's a light. So the trick to uh, beating that was to run in super close, like stand a, an arm's length away from them right there. And then that would cause their second unit to shoot their first unit in the back. It was a really cool tactic that was fun. I think there's a game on Glacieria where I do that, or a video of a game on Glacieria when I do that. It was super fun. It was also just like a very much flex your dominance kind of move. Like, got him. Highland. Who is? Okay. I'm still going with this as Marsh, so that seems reasonable. This cab really should have been committed already. Here's the thing. You want to get your cab in there when the game's still kind of being decided or while the coin is still flipping in the air. See, it's too late, man. It's too late. Your flank's gone. These dudes are gone for a picnic. Right? I the, GB looks like very much ahead to me right here. Oh, he's doing it. See, I love this too. I love it when people get line just close to rifles, man. Just fuck them up. Yeah, your Dragoon accomplished very little. Cash should have been committed already. It seems like unless you have a very specific plan, like this area, this terrain is just horrible for a cab. There's too much forest. Like in the middle, like what is cab going to do right here? Nothing. Or at least it's going to do it very slowly. 
France looks like they're in trouble. Well, hold on. What's back here? Dragoons, okay. I don't know, this is interesting. This could be something. Shooting at the lights. I would almost rather, if you could um change targets. I feel like these young guard, these the infantry out here, juicier targets, like, fuck the volts, they can sit there all day for all they care. We'll kill them later. Yeah, Cav, did they catch him out of square? Did they catch him? Looks like it. Yeah, okay. You got one. Good job. You got about seven to go. Yeah, rifles are taking a beating. And that's it. It's just this. Prussia's in trouble, man. Oh, I love it. I love... Oh, oh, uh, it's so hot. It's so hot. Like, if you want to take me on a first date, position your line like this, and I'm, I'm, I'm over. It's done. You got me. I love this. These big games are fun, man. Ooh, 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 oh, 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 oh. That's a beating. That's just a beating. Maybe get that guy out of there. Maybe they don't care. Somebody's got to take the bolts. Ooh, that's a lot of cab. That's five. So I was going to say, I, I feel like GB's got an advantage here. Well, what's going to happen? What's going to happen is pressure's going to get wrapped up here, and then th these dudes are going to push to the left, at which point this player kind of probably reorients right here. That is a lot of cav. Five? Dragoons, dragoons. I don't know why you're being dragoons. Especially if you're France. Well, whatever you call. There's a square right there. I mean, I guess it's possible if all this... Well, I mean, they're aware of what's going on. There's a square there, obviously. So, But, I mean, the cav can come through here. And maybe turn this around a little bit. That could happen. If I was GB right here, I'd really want to... You know, your lights are great on a line right there, maybe. In other words, change your orientation to north-south rather than this... I guess we call this east-west. But... Oh, we're... Yeah. Yeah. What's going on over here? Oh. Are the old guard gone? $2,400 worth of old guard. I'm not seeing them. That seems like a really bad engagement for France. I mean, you could kite if you wanted. More dragoons. Odd choice. There's GB Cap in there. Okay, we made an attack then. We made an attack. Hmm. 39. So this game was played back in the Five Lights era, and I've been thinking about it. Watched a couple games this week, and I think I really like the four lights rule. The games just seem so much more open. And then I was also thinking, like, if you had a real-life Napoleonic-era army, like, what percentage of troops would be considered lights? Like... In the army Napoleon took to Austerlitz, what was the percentage of chasseurs in that army, I doubt it's as high as 50%. So, like, let's say you bring five units of calf, five units of lights, and then ten line. That means 50% of your infantry is chasseur, and that seems high. I don't know. Seems high. 
And not that historical accuracy is really that important or anything, but, you know. Oh, that's interesting. You're shooting the ground. So are you. This charge is gonna, oh, corpses, everybody loves those. This charge is gonna be, oh, you can square. Can square, yeah, missed that one. Really good position right here. Caught him moving. No, they they hit it, okay. Got that one. Interesting position right here. That unit. Oh, it's a cold stream. Oh, God. Oh, God. They're all dead. They're all. Are they, though? Are they? No. Horse made contact. In melee. Nice, nice move, Prussia. You almost got him. You're still going to die. But you almost got him. You made the right play. There's another way to put it. This is close. That's really close. That's unfortunate. So overfull, overfull bullets is like all I fucking talk about. Down to 98. Haven't fired a shot probably. Oh, GB, GB. France is gone. France does not exist anymore. So GB is going to be able to turn left. This, this is going to be over. Prussia is gone. Yeah, same deal. The French cab is gone. I wonder who they killed. Maybe these guys. So this house with the old guard and the grenadier is an extremely strong defensive position. So what you do, the tip, is you just ignore them. You walk right by them. The way the morale penalty works is down here. This gives you a broad sense of how many troops each team has in the field. And eventually you get a morale penalty for like, what's it called? It's like concerned enemy losses or something. So what you do is you wait till everybody else is dead, and then you surround the house and these guys just kind of surrender. Don't go fight that. That's an interesting, that would be interesting to simulate. How many like regular foot units could these guys chew through? Assuming a live general and everything. Oh, this is cool. What are you doing? They're right in the... Oh, it's another fucking cold stream. Get them. Can you imagine being a soldier in this unit? You're like, hey, lieutenant guy. <coughs> They're right behind us. Oh, shit. Turn around. Humorous. Oh, are we meleeing? I find the individual, like, I think the technical, ter oh, look at that guy. The technical term is a sprite in computer parlance. I enjoy watching the animations of the individual soldiers. Yeah. Good job, Lieutenant. Got you guys killed. What's going on over here? Oh, yeah. So we're able to turn the corner on Prussia. I kind of liked what I saw over there. Kind of liked what I saw. I mean, I guess what I didn't like is that Prussia was pretty passive. I guess all over, you, you would say my team was a little more active and aggressive and got got cloaked made the first moves how about that made the first moves yeah that's a beating i mean you got double line shooting at you so what what you can do if, if anybody doesn't know this and i'm moving the camera poorly today is um well, line could shoot through the back of lights anyway, but when you get going up an elevation like this, these guys, can I, does this make more sense? These guys will shoot an angle like that over the heads of the, okay, that's a better angle. 
These guys will shoot over the heads. Up there. That makes sense. So this is a very safe move. You could also reverse it. Shit. You could also reverse it and have the line in front and the lights behind. You used to see uh, Trip Hammer do that a lot. You're encircled, dude. Oh. Oh, and everybody's dead. We're moving to the house now. Ah! I am so sorry. Okay. Again, inside of houses, I always thought was interesting. Let's see. And I think it's cool that the actual layout, like, how many... Like, they're actually using the windows. Like, the layout of the building isn't some kind of... Arb That's a cool scene. Like, the layout of the... Oh, God. Why did you go that way? Where's the door? Here we go. One down. This is so cool how the game does this. I would so love to see this with updated graphics. I played a little bit of the new Troy game and I want to say in the siege battle stuff, there weren't any houses. So I wonder how Creative Assembly is approaching this kind of thing. Like, are there houses on the Warhammer maps? Would that make sense? I don't know. I don't think so. Always thought houses were cool. Oh, and they this see this, this is so funny that we route we're just running out of the house and they let us. They they just let it. They're like, cool, yeah. See you later, guys. Get out of here. It's our house now. We're gonna get some new drapes for it. Cool. Yeah. Nifty. All right. I think that's the game. My team actually won. Did not expect that. Marsh. Marsh with the most kills, me with the least. How true to uh, expectations. Amber, thanks for playing. Karlov, I wonder which player you were. And then on the other team, we had Attila 9000. That's a lot of Attila. Lady Astrid. Astrid sounds familiar, but I do not know what it's a reference to. Some kind of sci-fi thing or something. Her scene. Ooh, sorry, her scene. An Agony Grudge. Haven't talked to you in a while, man. Hope you're okay. Right on. Um, in other news, two things. There's a Discord server now that you can come and hang out in. Waffles did a great job of setting it up. Um, it's 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 actually kind of cool. I've never really used Discord before, so I think it's I, I think it's cool. And if you want to come and hang out, I I kind of just keep it running all the time. Uh, in the background and. Hey, you know, you want someone to talk to or find some people to play with, then there you go. If you if you like have a clan or whatever, we could probably make like a sub room for your clan. Something like that. I don't know. Discord's kind of a new thing to me, so if you got a cool idea on what we can do with it, then do that. And then secondly, you can send me a replay. The um email address is semi-replays at gmail.com or you can now post the replay files in the Discord. So that's kind of cool. And I really like doing the viewer submissions. I think it's really fun. So anyway, I hope everybody's having a great Saturday. Um, speaking of which, uh, there were like, I don't want to exaggerate, but 20, 25 games going on the lobby. It's like, you know, 2 o'clock in California time. It's like 10 p.m. Europe. I was really impressed with how many games are going on. So that's that's cool. Um have a great week, everybody. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. I will see you in the next video.